I'm Steve for Thistle Cliff Cards and I have had the engine and barn sprite number three soaking in oil for over six months now. Today, one way or another, I hope to have the engine freed up in this car. Let's take a look under the bonnet. Under the bonnet, we're in exactly the same condition as when we left off last time. I think the first course of action is to take the borescope, look down each one of the cylinders and see if we can see the top of the piston. That will let us know if the oil is making it past the rings loosening up the piston or if it's completely locked up and none of the oil is making it past. Okay, let's take a look into cylinder one. Piston is still completely covered in oil. It's all just sitting on there. Some probably has leaked through, but obviously it's not a very big leak if there is one at all. Cylinder two, okay, looks like the oil is getting past. There's no oil sitting on that piston. Cylinder three, again, that one, the oil's leaking past, no oil at all. And cylinder four, also no oil. So our piston that's holding us up the most is number one. That is just a layer of oil sitting on top of that piston. It's not leaking through at all. I have the car in gear now and I'm going to rock it back and forth one last time, see if I can break cylinder one loose. It's still just getting the rear tires. I had an idea a couple weeks ago. I've had success before with taking the head off of the engine leaving the engine inside the vehicle, cleaning everything up, getting it freed up, moving the pistons to the lowest point of their travel, cleaning up the cylinders, and having the engine still last for a very long time. So I think I'd like to try that on this engine, see how it goes. If that doesn't work out, I'll just take it out. So I'll start getting this trip down. These can be very difficult to remove. The studs usually corrode inside the holes here. So for now, I'll leave the thermostat housing in place and I'll remove the hose instead. You can tell that this valve cover has been on here for a long time. Everything we need to disconnect on this side is disconnected now. Let's concentrate on this side. I've done this several times before, so I'm going to try it again. I'm going to leave everything attached here and just unbolt the exhaust and the intake manifolds from the head. Then I can just set them aside and take the head straight up. The trickiest bit to get to will be the bypass hose, which goes between the water pump and the head, but that will probably just break when I go to remove the head anyways. These nuts are quarter inch Whitworth. It's going to take me a while to do this but I should be able to get in there. These rear two, the stud came out with the nut. And if that happens on these two inner ones, the nut's going to start moving out to where I can't get it, but as long as I do both of them at the same time, I can bring the intake manifold out where it will still make room for me to get to those nuts. Now it all should be loose enough to pull it away from the head. I do have one little clamp back here I need to remove for the distributor vacuum. Then I can take the head bolts out. I 
I think I am getting held up by the bypass hose located directly under here. I'll try to get that loose or cut it. Now we can get our first look on the underside of the head. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Let's take a look at what we've got here. The cylinder walls actually don't look that bad. The top of this piston actually seems decently clean. There is some surface rust on the cylinder walls. I have a bottle of Marvel Mystery Oil. I'm going to put some in each of these cylinders. We'll let this sit overnight, maybe for a day or two. We'll check back and see what the levels of these look like. I'm going to let this sit and I'll be right back. The engine has been sitting for two days now. It doesn't look a whole lot different. We still have oil in all four cylinders. I think the rear one may be going down the most. And before I clean any of this oil out, I'm going to take some Scotch-Brite. This is normally used for paint prep, and I'm going to clean up the cylinder walls with it. I want to keep the oil in it so that any particles and rust that come off the cylinder wall don't fall down to the side and get jammed up in the piston. That will tear up an engine pretty quickly. I want to keep everything as much as I can suspended in the oil and then clean it up afterwards. That oil looks completely different now. There's all kinds of stuff suspended in it. Now I can get this oil cleaned up. Things are looking much better already, but the engine is still stuck. We need to figure out how to jostle it loose. The easiest thing to try is just grab the car and try to rock it back and forth again. That's not going to do it. It doesn't have enough traction. Now let's try a little bit of force. I've cut a block that just fits inside the cylinders. Now just give each cylinder a little bit of a tap. We'll see if that jostles things loose enough that the engine can move. I don't know if it was my imagination, but it felt like one of those cylinders was moving. Let's try rocking it back and forth again. Now, if you saw that, the pistons definitely moved that time. And since they have moved, I'm going to clean the walls of the cylinders again. Let's give the pistons a few more taps. I can definitely see them moving now when I'm tapping on them. Let's try to rock it again. They moved quite a bit that time. I'm going to repeat this until hopefully I can make a full rotation. I think it's time to see if the electric starter can do a better job at turning the engine over than I can. I'll just pull on the starter solenoid here. Looks like it's freed up and the cylinder walls actually look just fine. Let me try to get these down to their lowest point and I'll show you. There we go. Now we can get a good look at the cylinder walls. Down below where I cleaned them earlier, 
They look just fine. Let's take a look at number four. Same situation here. I'm going to get this crud cleaned up. Now let's put a little bit more Marvel Mystery Oil in there. Get this cycled through. Okay, that is building fuel pressure. We have fuel coming out of the broken hose over there. I'm going to run it just a little bit more. You can see how the Marvel Mystery Oil is changing color as the contaminants get in it. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up and I put a little bit of fresh oil in there. I'm going to try to stop it in the middle and add my oil. That's close enough. That's all that I have time for today on Barn Sprite number three. Next time we'll put the engine back together and things are looking very promising that soon we'll have it running again. Remember, if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.